we're going to touch on on your your TEDx talk and things like that. So okay. we're going to, I guess, dig a little deeper. What is it about uh, Delta Sigma Theta's being educators? My my sister's one, so I you know, and so Al's pointing too. So what's up with you DSTs uh, being educators? Please I know explain. We are all, I know we are all educators. We are all educators. And um, I think that, you know, and then more than that, just being public servants, right? So all of the Divine Nine and all of the fraternities and sororities and all that do have a social justice um, bent to them, a very important uh, part of their um, founding. And I think that, you know, you do find a lot of Deltas who are educators in some way, even if they are in business or something, they have this community-mindedness that is kind of the education community um, writ large. So, yes, I think you will find a lot of Deltas that are teaching. Shout out to all the Deltas out there. So, okay, <laughs> so, you, the there. yeah, that's, you know, you guys are loud and proud with it. So, and that's, you yes. know, kudos to you guys. Now that we're in a crazy time, everyone's talking about, te- years ago, teachers had to be nutritionists, counselors, mm-hmm. all those things, and putting pressure on, on teachers. What's going to happen now with this where the teachers who are involved in the system, some are being forced out because of the the measures for Corona. How hard is it going to be to get the next group of teachers in? And what does that look like for our, for our kids? So I think it's going to be incredibly difficult and it was already difficult. Yes. Um, so, and especially if we're talking about teachers of color being in front of students of color, that has been a long Hall. It's been really hard to do that because the teaching profession, while um, it's socially, there's a social justice aspect of it that's that's clear and in front and center. Um, you know, the pay is not what one could make if if one was an engineer or you know some of these other professions we're talking about. Um, so it's always been difficult to attract folks to teaching um, when they have lots of other opportunities, and so um, so that's always been hard. I think this is making it even more hard because now you have additional health risk involved in it. But not only that, we are asking so much of teachers. They're on Facebook. I'm sure you've seen people saying, I'm burnt out. This is yes. the third week. Um, I can't take it anymore. I can't look at the screen anymore. My eyes are hurting. My back is hurting. The kids are, you know, watching TV. Like, so I think that we're asking a lot of teachers and the, the art and the science of teaching is being lost um, with, you know, in the middle of, the pandemic because folks are just trying to manage logistically how do I sign on in time do I really know how to zoom how do I use the blackboard when am I going to eat lunch like people are just trying to logistically manage everything and that um, student teacher relationship is really hard to do over computer screens I think it's going to be incredibly difficult to attract folks to teaching I am hopeful that you know there's a resurgence of people wanting to support um, communities that are in distress or under resourced and I hope that um, they will find their way to teaching because this is a time where we really need 